Uh, hello everyone. Today we will be uh, looking at a short story from a plot generator. A uh, short story that I made. Uh, I'll show you the um, the actual thing. This will be a very short video because my um, cam my audio wasn't recording. So this was like a 20 minute video and now it's going to turn into a little video. So I'll create a short story. Title is random. Opening uh, focuses on a relationship. Conflict's financial. Resolution is violent. Protagonist, Master Mick Club. Um, secondary character, we just made one up. Phil Randall. What does the second character want from the protagonist? Ten dollars. Um, feel about the protagonist positively. Something the protagonist would like to say to the second character. But I own the ten dollars. Then I'm in the place where it all happens. Serbia. Protagonist feel positive about the place. Features, trees, beautiful and grand. Emotional adjective, heavy, sad, grumpy, relaxed, rusty. Five adjectives, blah, blah, blah. Oh, this, if you don't know what this says, this says down to earth. Uh, generous, loving, brave. Masquerade ball. Um, smiling, skipping, cooking for the three verbs. Old lady, a vulnerable thing, the old lady. Um, a knight. A doctor. A jazz music. Pepsi. It. I'm sorry for all those Coke drinkers out there. I, I personally like Pepsi a little better. Two objects, Fedora and uh, Mountain Dew. Uh, the uh, Micobians is the currency. Micobian, did it? Like, do the rest of the Micobians. There we go. A Micobian. Uh, now to do with the weather, Snow, uh, Meerkat, Guardian, and Buck Hobble. these two are obviously from Legend of Zelda, Breath of the Wild. Um, two body parts, eyebrows, legs, curvy, beautiful, brunette, and squat for the four adjectives and pen name Master Micob. Write me a short story. Oh, uh, it's https www.plotgenerator.org.uk and you have different things there. You'll probably be doing something. Oh, my mic has just done something. I don't know what it's done. Okay then. Is the audio still on? Yeah, the audio is still on. I'm just... Oh, yeah, and I forgot to say, I um upgraded my microphone. Uh, I hope you guys like it. And, yeah, I, I'm sorry I haven't uploaded in a while. I don't have a schedule for the uploading yet. Because if it was once a week, it'd be like a 5 to 10 minute video a week. Uh, two brave uncles cooking to the beat. Uh, Master Mika was thinking about Phil Randall again. To, sorry, just two brave uncles cooking to the beat caught me off there. Master Mikop was thinking about Phil Randall again. Phil was a loving doctor with squat eyebrows and brunette legs. Master Mikop walked over to the window and reflected on his grand surroundings. He had, oh, well then. He had always loved beautiful Serbia with its talented tall trees. It was a happy place that encouraged his tendency to feel happy. Um, I'm gonna stop it right there. If you um, if you people out there, this uh, this sounds like a fan fiction. It just this thing just creates really weird stories. Ah, uh, let's continue then. Then he saw somewhat something in the distance, or rather, someone. It was the loving figure of Phil Randall. Master gulped. He glanced at his own reflection. He was a stable, hopeful Pepsi drinker with curvy eyebrows and beautiful legs. His friend saw him as a keen, klutzy knight. Once he had even revived a dying old lady. But not even a stable person who had once revived a dying old lady was prepared to, for what Phil had in store today. The snow flurried like a smiling meerkat, making Master relaxed. Master grabbed a rusty fedora. That had been strewn nearby. He massaged it with his fingers. <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, as Master stepped outside and Phil came closer, he could see the few smile, the the few smile on his face. That doesn't make sense. Look, Master growled Phil with a down-to-earth glare that reminded Master of a loving buck goblin. It is not that I don't love you, but I want ten dollars. You owe me. 925 Macobians. Okay, so 10, doll 10 Australian dollars is equal to 925 Macobians. 
Master looked back, even more relaxed and still fingering the, fu the rusty fedora. Phil, but I own the ten dollars, he replied. They look at each other with sad feelings, like two great grisly guardian. Guardian? That's supposed to be S. Guardians, skipping at a very generous masquerade ball, which had jazz music playing in the background, and two brave uncles cooking to the beat. Suddenly... Phil lunged forward and tried to punch Master in the face. Quickly, Master grabbed the rusty fedora and brought it down on Phil's skull. Phil's squat eyebrows trembled and his brunette legs wobbled. He looked grumpy and his wallet roared like a magnificent miniature Mountain Dew. Mountain Dew! Then he let out an agonizing groan and collapsed onto the ground. Moments later, Phil Randall was dead. Master Mikob went back inside and made himself a nice drink of Pepsi. The end. Uh, but before I leave this... Oh, sorry, the, mic, the mic's getting further away. There we go. Before I leave this episode here, though, I want to just... Is there, like... A, I know there's, like, a character called Randall somewhere. Randall. But there's a... Randall, like, maybe Monsters, Inc.? No. It's like a Randall Monsters Inc. I think Randall Monsters Inc. Is that his name, Randall? Yeah, Randall Boggs. So you got Randall Boggs and um Phil Randall. That, that's amazing, isn't it? Well, I didn't know this guy was called Henry J. Wadenoose the Third. Okay, what? Well, sorry, that it's just been bugging me that I didn't know who Randall was. There he is, and he's lovely. You can get a, like something from eBay or for anyway. Uh, thank thank you for watching this video. I uh, hope you enjoyed uh, enjoyed it, and uh, leave a like, and a comment, and subscribe please. My subscriber count is going down very slowly, but uh, thank you and uh, goodbye. I'm leaving now. See you later. Bye.